WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 52, Nasdaq's up 133, S&Ps are up 11. Gold, gold contracts down $14.60, trading at 1974 an ounce. We have silver off 56 cents, $22.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude taking a hit, down 330, 77.52. I believe that broke its consolidation. Oil's going lower. Notes and bonds, they continue to want higher price, lower yield. You got the 10-year right now trading up by 16 ticks. At 108.04, the 30 up a point and a half at 113.31. And if we take a look at that 10 year, that 10 year right now is yielding uh, 4.560, and the high was 5.0. Um, dollar. What do we got with the dollar? The, 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 this is what you see with these fluctuations out here today, folks, okay? So the dollar was high as 500 ticks. Now it's only up 331. 105.547. Euro's at 106. Yen's trading at the 150. And the British pound's at 122 to 1 U.S. dollar. I'm going to go right, uh, go to the bonds first and the dollar because that's what's running this market right now. Um, the, the higher that the price goes on bonds, lower the yield, and that puts juice behind the market. Uh, as does the, you know, the 10 year right now. You look at the 10 year, you know, came off the lows, has volume. We did one, we've done 1.6 million already. Yesterday we come down at 1.7. So you can see that's building cost for higher price. We get into the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. What you're going to see with that dollar is uh, bottom line is that we were as high today as uh, 105,775 and it gave up a couple hundred ticks. Now, a couple hundred ticks is enough to basically get some juice going in the marketplace. Because what you have here is this. The number to keep your eye on real closely, okay, inside the dollar is gonna be the 105, 535 level. And what that is, that's where we you know, broke the consolidation down. It got above that today, and it's basically oscillating right around that number. My take is that this dollar is gonna give it up again. And you give it up again, what that does, that puts more juice into the S&P, puts more juice into the commodity markets. Uh, bottom line, yeah, we've been up, uh, <laughs> we've been up uh, seven, eight days in a row, which is really unusual. But guess what? This is a dynamic change in the marketplace, meaning the interest rate structure is a dynamic change, which hits the dollar. Bottom line, if you get both of those that have actually topped out, you're going to continue to get more buying inside of the marketplace. So we'll see how the rest of it shakes out. Recap out here, Dow up 73, NASDAQ up 137, S&P's up 14. We'll come right back.